actually we're talking about the video series that you know we're going to be launching okay. soon and i know that there's going to be a lot of interest um rumor has it you you have like a book with like 1400 recipes do you th- how, how far um, in those do you think we can get oh my goodness well it's just like it's like an inexhaustible subject like it's like i mean that's a good the answer is i don't know to that the answer is i don't know because there's so many paths to take with that, whether it's what spirit we're using or what, what timeline even. Sometimes I'm like, oh, let's just do drinks from the 1800s, you know? That'd be fun, though. I mean, I think that's a cool idea. I mean, to maybe, like I said, mix it up between kind of the, the obvious, you know, popular drinks that people are going to be like, okay, what's the best way to make, you know, whatever, versus like what was popular, you know, during the Roaring Twenties, during Prohibition or something like that. Yeah, I like the diversity. I'd say the the prohibition is the most common um, timeline that people are familiar with. Um, Why is that? Uh, I think is because it was such a big deal. That it's like people can't drink. Well, what are we going to drink? And what can we make? You so know, they, so. I mean, they were they were that was kind of like they were kind of forced to, right? And prohibition kind of forced the a lot of mixology. Uh, I, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you, you, there was what, what can we throw together to make it? Well, you got to think about the fact that a lot of the alcohol was so bad. It just needed to taste good. So how are you going to make it good? You know, you're going to have to put some flavor in it. You're going to have to make it palatable. And a lot of that stuff was just really bad booze. So um, people were forced to come up with ways to make it taste good. And, uh, and out of that, um, we got a lot of fantastic cocktails. So, What are some of the other golden eras of uh, cocktails? Uh, well, golden eras, I don't know if I'd use, I'd say golden eras. I'd say that there was, you know, there was the, uh, you know, like the, 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 the 70s and 80s, early the 60s, 70s and 80s, referred to as like the dark time for cocktails because it was just not... There was a lot of sugary drinks, a lot of terrible drinks, and 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 it just wasn't it wasn't a proud proud time in cocktail the, the history. Era, the era of daiquiris, yeah, and <laughs> it just wasn't. I mean, a, a daiquiri is a great drink, a, right? I, like, right. Literally, a daiquiri is a great drink. A classic daiquiri, a 1913 uh, recipe for a daiquiri is fantastic. You know, because it's sour, it's sweet, it's spirit forward. It's a great drink, but uh, but the daiquiris like that you're referring to, you know, we have like. Uh, a blended, just sugary drink, uh, which a lot of people think that that drink is supposed to be uh, made in a blender, which is not really the way that that drink was made. Um, but, but the idea is that there was this time when the focus on cocktail making and mixology and the craft of it and the balance was just not something that people were looking for. You know, people were drinking a lot of uh, bad liquor that was uh, that was very sugary and hmm. you know intensely flavored. But um, for instance, people weren't doing a lot of martinis at that time. Right, right. no, yeah. not, yeah. So, uh, but the classic cocktails that we were drinking in the 1950s and 1940s, 1930s, you know, those cocktails have stood the test of time. And we fortunately made it through like the, the sugar bomb uh, part of, of cocktail history um, so far, you know. Uh, so can, can, can we give a... Gen X credit for helping to you know bring back classic cocktails. Or? I, I would say yes, and uh, I would say yes, and people's grandparents have been holding the flag, and you know, like they've been drinking this stuff the whole time. So like the martini drinkers that were drinking the, drinking martinis in the night, the Manhattan they, drinkers, yeah, they're they're still doing it. So you know, hats off to them. Right, right. They didn't go away. They didn't yeah. give up. Yeah. Oh, that's great.